is one reason that may, they might have thrown it um, the Mac uh, like they changed their history and they threw Mecca uh, in the, in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the desert. Could one reason for that be that it's also beyond reach for people to prove that these stories didn't come from there? Like it, it kind of like looking throwing it far away where nobody had access to for many years. There is no certainty here whatsoever. Uh, we, we, we simply don't know. There is no mention of, of and when I say Mecca, I mean Mecca as it, as it is now, right. the, the, the centre of, of, of the Hajj, the, the, the place in Saudi Arabia. There is no mention of this place in any text, basically, that precedes the Quran. Um, Mecca is, is described, you know, there's one mention of it in, in the Quran, but it's unclear what it is, it's unclear whether it's a, a town or a valley or whatever. The earliest mention of it in a datable text is, I think, 740, and then it's located in the deserts of Iraq. And it's only, um, again, you know, our, our familiar kind of bottleneck uh, of the, um, uh, the beginning of the ninth Christian century that we, we start to clearly get a sense of Mecca as being in the place where it is now. So therefore, the, the, the question is, well, was Mecca, or at least was was the, the kind of the shrine of the Ishmaelites, was it always was it always in Mecca or was it somewhere else? And I think that there is enough evidence within the Quran, which essentially is, is the only definite primary source we have, to suggest that, that it probably wasn't. <laughs> Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.